despite getting some money behind them, Everton haven't kicked on in the past few years, going from manager to manager with no sign of success on the horizon. However, things might be different now with Carlo Ancelotti in charge, but what do our Football Manager 2015 simulation predict for the toppies by the year 2020? Well, there's been just as many management changes and just as many trophies at Goodison Park. The simulation started with Roberto Martinez in charge, but he was sacked in the summer of 2015 following a 12th place finish, Everton's lowest of the simulation. Up next, Everton went back in time and brought back David Moyes, but it wasn't a success. He lasted just a year in the dugout, proving football manager predicted Moyes' demise just like in the real world. But then again, he did finish in 8th place, which isn't that bad. It's poor from the Everton board there. Next up was an odd choice, with Roy Keane making his return to management. Finally, Everton had some consistency, and almost success, with Keane's first season finishing with the Europa League qualification, ending the campaign in 5th. Keane would last 3 years at Everton before getting the sack, and while they looked for a new boss, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer acted as caretaker. For the 2019-20 campaign, Victor Fernandez was manager, but he's out of the job after finishing 11th. Everton now have a Mexican calling the shots, with Luis Fernando Tena becoming boss. But let's go back to Fernandez's final game, a 1-1 draw with Swansea, and let's take a look at who played. In goal was Fraser Forster. The goalkeeper joined the Toffees in 2017 from Southampton, taking the number one jersey and costing £12.25 million. He's been alright on Merseyside, but nothing spectacular basically mirroring his form from St Mary's. However, he had multiple injuries last season, meaning Foster's deputy had to step up and play. And who was that man? Rice and Bowley, an Algerian veteran who they sent from Hull for £185,000. He did okay, I'm not really sure who he is to be honest, but Jordan Pickford and his little arms are nowhere to be seen. Right back was Matthew Debushi. A bargain signing two years ago from Arsenal, it seems as though the new Everton boss has no interest in Debushi, as he's now in the reserves and on the transfer list but he'd been a key player during his two seasons in blue, making 64 Premier League appearances and getting a fair few assists, even if his average rating in his second season was pretty poor. Sadly, it looks like his time at Everton is up, with his asking price set at a lowly £400,000. And how will he be remembered? Well, in his final game, he saw red after two yellow cards and got a rating of 5.3. Centre-back was Virgil van Dijk. The first big shock of this team, the man who transformed Liverpool's defence in the real world as action at Everton player on Football Manager 2015, he hasn't quite been as transformative at Goodison Park. The big Dutchman moved to England in 2017 from Celtic, but it's just been OK in the Premier League, with only one season seeing him getting an average rating of higher than a 7. He's settling up with one of his current Liverpool teammates though, as Everton have just signed Joel Matip from Real Madrid for a rather cheap £3.3 million. So maybe with a bit of luck they can recapture the chemistry they have in the real world. Next up was Toby Alderweireld. Christ, Everton have really gone big on centre-backs in this game. They've got two of the Premier League's marquee central defenders in the current day, but on FM15 they're not quite as luxurious. The Belgian defender barely cost a penny, arriving from Athletic Madrid for £1.4 million. He's been excellent as well, being consistently solid at the back for Everton, proving he should have cost 10 times as much. No idea why he's such a bargain on FM15, but Athletic was lost as Everton's gain. Left back was Leighton Baines. The man who wears the armband at the age of 35, Leighton Baines has not bowed down to Father Time on Football Manager 2015, playing in pretty much every game he can during the simulation. Interestingly, he's only scored one goal, but Baines has been an assist machine in a blue shirt, getting 18 in the 2016-17 season. He's been one of Everton's best players from the simulation, and is now backed up by Luke Shaw, who struggled to have an impact at Goodison Park since his £6.75 million move. Right midfield was Nathan Redmond. This is an odd one, as Nathan Redmond's had a quite a curious career on FM15. He would join Manchester United in 2017 for £12.5 million from Norwich, despite not really setting the world alight for the Canaries. After four games with his new club, Redmond was loaned out to Everton, where to be honest he wasn't that good either. But that didn't matter, as Everton decided to sign Redmond permanently for £6.25 million, so basically Man United just gave up early and half the money on him. Oh, and he's also representing the Republic of Ireland, obviously not good enough for England. Another option Evan have on the right is Kevin Morales, the Belgian flyer who's been pretty good and actually scored 13 goals in one season once upon a time. They also have Frenchman Jonathan Schmid, who scored Evan's only goal in the 1-1 draw with Swansea. Sent midfield was James McCarthy. A player whose Everton career is effectively ruined by a leg break, the Irish midfielder is a boss on FM15 and one of those players I always want to sign. He's been an enforcer in the middle of the park for the Toffees, still with a lot to offer at the age of just 29. 
He's been so consistent it hurts, averaging a 7.2 or 7.3 in every Premier League season of the simulation. To be fair with those ratings, I'm surprised Everton have been able to keep a hold of him. He was alongside Ogizan Otsukup. Everton have limited options in the middle of the park, meaning James McCarthy didn't get the partner he deserved. The game against Swansea saw Otsukup start alongside McCarthy, but he got an injury in a rating of 6.5. He cost ten and a quarter million pounds from Besiktas in 2017, and has actually provided his fair share of assists from the middle of the park. His ratings haven't been great though, meaning Everton really need a new centre midfielder this summer. They do still have Tom Davies, but he's in the reserves having barely played Premier League football and proving he's nowhere near the standard required. Left wing was Will Hughes. Capable of playing on the left and in the middle, Everton snapped at the young midfielder from Derby in 2017, finally giving him a crack in the top flight of English football, having done wonders in the Championship for the Rams. He's been able to step up to the Premier League, getting goals, assists and earning himself five England caps. A great sign for Everton and probably their best bit of business, even better than Toby Alderweireld and that's saying something. Up front was Roman Zozulia. In the real world this man currently plays for Albacete in Spain and was the reason the game was abandoned as opposition fans protested against him and accused him of being a sympathiser of Nazi ideology. In the football manager world the Ukrainian striker cost Everton £20 million in 2015 and he's been averaging an Everton shirt. His goal return is pretty good when you look at how many games he played, but maybe not worth the £20 million he cost. There's not a lot else I can say here really, it's a bit of an awkward one. Why couldn't they just sign Carlos Fierro? And finally it's Romelu Lukaku. Everton's key player, the main man at Goodison Park, Romelu Lukaku has been a machine in front of goal and blue, kind of, hitting double figures in every Premier League season so far. He's valued at £27.5 million, which may suggest why he's still an Everton player, as he would cost a hell of a lot of money to prize away from Goodison Park. The highest earner on £115,000 a week, Romelu Lukaku will likely spend his entire career with the Everton Football Manager 2015 and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Who am I kidding, of course it's a bad thing for poor Romelu, free Lukaku! So that's Everton in 2020 according to Football Manager 2015, let us know what you think in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo and until next time we'll catch you around.